What's going on everybody? I'm Daniel and welcome back to Frost Reviews. And again, I had the man, the myth, the mother, fucking legend baby, Papa Z. Been there, done that. <laughs> and of course, I have the King of Steam himself, fast as lightning 20 years ago, Mr. Buddha. You Stays know. Very low key, very low key. He is under the radar. <laughs> But we are exposing him now, yes. <laughs> um, and I'm glad it's here. I'm glad it's here with us. Yeah. yeah, this is a shirt from Zero Foxtrot. And we're in a corona time, so I thought it fit. I'm wearing a bandana. <laughs> you gotta get rid of those fucking bandanas. And uh, we got a Concord hat with the Chris Kyle patch and the Don't Tread on Me patch on the back. Really good hats. I've had this hat for five years and I work out in it almost every day. Very, very durable, durable hat. So this beer comes from Ingenious Brewing Company. This is right up there in Humble, Texas and North Houston. Um, they make really good beers. I've, I've reviewed some of their beers before. Um, and they know, how to, they know how to make a craft beer, boys. Uh, believe me. This is a, a stout. This is So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Why don't you bring that up, right? Yeah. So if you're a craft brewery company, mm -hmm. this is kind of a niche market. Like we, the niche market I was talking about before. You don't, you don't just make... Some of these places don't just make one beer, they make... No, they make tons of beers. Several different... Oh, yeah. Okay. Several different beers, different IPAs, different stouts, different lagers. You name wow. it. Wow. Yeah, That's they, cool. They have usually most most craft beer that are, that are, you know, been around the block, you know, for at least five or ten years. They have recipes for 100 plus beers probably. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. No, it really is. So this one is called Make Russia Great Again. So I'm not really down with the name of it because I think Russian is a bunch of communists, but it is what it is. Well, hang on a second. Let me see that camera a second, Daniel. Pardon me. No, you're good. I guess it's kind of a joke. It because, is a joke. Because, 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 yeah, because, yeah. well, but the, hat, but the hat actually says Make Russia Great Again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably just a Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Right. Um, 5% alcohol by volume yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, 12.5. Well, what is this right here? Oh, 12. Oh, I was looking at that right there. 12.5. So this one yeah, this is, is like double yeah. of what the other one was. Yeah. yeah. So this is a burly Russian imperial stout fortified with peanut butter and marshmallows. This warming stout is ideal for pre-hibernation regardless of the weather. Is that what we're thinking? It may, taste, it, it, it may taste like a little bit of peanut butter oh, yeah. and marshmallow. Yeah. So this yeah. is a stout. Okay. This is a very, very dark beer, Imperial Stout. And a Imperial Stout is going to be a, it's going to be up on the scale of alcohol. So this beer has 12.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, and this is obviously a 16 ounce can. Live beer, keep cold and drink fresh. So this is right here out of Texas. Yeah, brewed in Canyon, Mumble, Texas in Northeastman. Yep. So yeah, it's a pretty cool can. It's pretty like a funny politi political stunt. As you can see, 12.5%. And let's get the ingenious label. They make a lot, a lot of good beer. All right. So thank you, Debo, my buddy Debo, who gave me this beer. He's a really good friend of mine at work. And he always donates me beer. And dude, thank you very much. You know I love you. He's like my work wife. Kind of like you, Mr. Meadow. Well, who's the mama and who's the daddy? Well, we don't we don't care about here on this. We're open to oh, every okay. type of okay. relationship here on <laughs> Cross. <Coast. laughs> so this is a dark stout. Imperial style, yes. An so, imperial style. Wow. Yeah, look at that thing. That looks like Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. does look like Coca Cola, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, wow. It's almost black. Are you excited? <sighs> Excitement is for women and children. No, I don't get excited. <laughs> I heard that too many times growing up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, very nice pours though. Look at that. Look up. Not bad, right? Very, very nice. That's awesome. This is more like a Guinness beer. Okay. The dark, 
Dark beer. So this is falling into the stout category. This is a stout. Yes, I got gotcha. you. Imperial stout. Okay. So you, now you have just regular stouts. You have imperial stouts. Regular stouts are a little bit weaker, and imperial stouts are more, more usually a stronger, which is what which is which, which is the twelve point five there, right? It's imperial stout. So so I could drink if if this was rated a seven, mm -hmm. I could drink fewer of these and get. Over frosted, yes, much quicker than yes. I did with the sevens. Absolutely, I got you. Okay. Absolutely, that's like drinking a double. Yes, okay, yes. Well, pour me a triple. Cheers, cheers, everybody, to all my frostos and frostos. We didn't smell it. We we'll smell it. Oh, okay. What do you smell? Candy. I smell. I had like a girl. girlfriend named Candy one time. <laughs> <laughs> I smell a little bit of marshmallows, honestly. Like a roasted, I yeah, caramelish. It's a it's a caramelish peanut butter almost peanut butterish marshallish. <laughs> oh, I miss her. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> What is the bit? What is the bitterness? I don't know. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like. No, it doesn't. I, I didn't find it. Yeah, it's bitter though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's strong. Yeah, this will this will definitely put the beer goggles on you. <laughs> real quick. What's so funny, honey? He said definitely when you agreed with your dad. Your dad and I made eye contact. <laughs> he was I like, would uh, <laughs> probably rather soak that dirty sock, Mr. Miller, in my last video. Yeah, this one, this one's a bit, this one's a bit strong. Love Texas, but uh, we yeah. Uh, well, to each his own, right? There's gonna be somebody out there that, that's. There's a lot of people probably out there that will like this, mm -hmm. and it's not. To me, it's not horrible, Ludo. What do you think? What do you what do you what do you think about this one? <laughs> He's not thinking it, it's it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It is maybe, heavy. maybe we're taking. Well, maybe it's maybe it's the higher alcohol content. Yeah, where, because that the higher alcohol content content does give it a specific taste. Okay, I've, I've noticed that over because I've I've had thirteen percent beers, their stouts, and twelves and elevens. How many reviews have you done? I don't know a lot. So is it? I mean, would you call it? 25, 50? I no, mean, I would say I've done at least 100. 100? No, not, not, on, not on YouTube. I used to do a lot on Snapchat and Facebook. Okay, so this, so this, so this beer, you, you were calling it a, uh, a, 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 pale, a pale ale? This beer is an Imperial Stout. Imperial Stout, correct. How many other Imperial Stouts have you, have at you least, tasted? At least six. So, not that we're doing a, an no, official no, review, you know, but, giving it a number, mm -hmm. but of the imperial stouts that you've tasted mm -hmm. call it six how does this taste compare to those other ones i mean is this what you expect out of an imperial yes. stout yes but so if you like imperial stouts oh it's great you're just saying that this oh. is falling right into the category perfect right? perfect right. this is for you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah this is for right. you yeah um but the thing is i was really excited about the peanut butter because i'm a peanut butter fan as you know dad I guess like, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, you're I don't. On it. I don't. I don't taste first much. four years of his life. He ate peanut butter. I don't taste much peanut butter in this beer, honestly. I don't. I, I taste well, it's more supposed like, to be a marshmallow peanut, peanut butter peanut mix. Peanut butter marshmallow mix. Maybe that's I actually it actually can kind of taste that mixture personally. Yeah, so can uh, I. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's probably too sweet. I was thinking about the same thing. Well, yeah. It's yeah. very yeah. sweet. Yeah, no, the, the sweetness. I'm it's not. Very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's very yeah. sweet. Um. But yeah, it's very, but you know, you can, whenever you drink a beer like this, you can really tell the craftsmanship in the beer. I can, I can see her and appreciate this. I get this. that. I get that. I can see her and appreciate yeah. this because, I mean, it just, how do you get these flavors in a, in a liquid like that? Well, I mean, Daniel, the thing about it is, I mean, if these guys are, are making hundreds of beers, they're, everybody has a personal taste preference. Oh, yeah. Just because this one doesn't, I don't Dude, find this one somebody else personally does. tasteful. I'm still enjoying the beer. It's still fine to try to drink one, right, right? Right. If you were to give me a beer, I I I would drink this beer, right? But it, it's it's personally it's not it's not for me. The 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 other beer that we reviewed in the last video mm -hmm. is I mean even even Mudo was like I mean we gave it a 
for us personally, that, and what was that? Was that a, what what type of beer was that? That was an IPA. That was an IPA. IPA. Mm -hmm. So maybe Moodle and I are more like IPA drinkers, oh, you know sure. what I mean? So sure. versus the stouts. I, as, as I am, as, as. But it's, it tastes good. It tastes good. It's just not tasting good no. where I would go buy the beer. No, no, right? it's, it's not for me, but just because, but that's, that's just, that's just my taste buds. Right. 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 That's right. just my taste buds. But I can appreciate, you know, I can appreciate this though. Right. Where, where did they, where would they distribute this? Is this going to be you're, all all, no, all over the U.S.? No, you're or do they keep it just in Texas? No, they're going to. They they. I, you go to the brewery by these at this at this brewery. You can't find the. I have not found an ingenious beer outside of the brewery. So you have to go to the brewery to yes. buy the beer. Yes. And a lot of people do. That. And where's the brewery? Well, where's in the brewery in, for that? In, in Texas. In, hum, in humble Texas. Humble Texas. Yes. yes. So you got to be a real sicko if you like this beer to drive all the way over there to buy yeah, this one my, particular beer. My buddy Debo is a sicko. <laughs> okay, he, he loves he, yeah. and he loves these types of beers. Wow, like, he loves stouts. So he, you have to go to these are not distributed, not the nationally. Now, this now, is the, not, now that not that I'm aware of. Well, here's the thing: not that I'm. Aware if of. you made a hundred of these beers, one brewery, right? Right. Or let's call it twenty-five. Mm -hmm. How many other breweries are out there? Well, let's call it 100. That means there's 2,500 craft beers, relatively close. Well, how could a store like uh, Kroger's or Brookshire's or HEB carry that many choices? So if you find a beer on a shelf in a retail area, in a, in a, in a, in a, on a retail space, They've done their work to get their beer to that shelf, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're telling me that the only place I can buy this beer is I have to drive to Humble, Texas to buy the beer. As far as I know. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. And there's people that actually do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, they, they, dude, I some, live in a very small, simple dude, world. <laughs> dude, there's some beers that they do and they sell out. Like, sell out. Oh, really? Yes. yes. So these, but, but if, so distributing, they're not distributing. You have to actually... Yes. If you're growing watermelons and you're selling, you're you're just when yeah. they're ready, they come buy the watermelon. That's right? just, dude. That's just for me. I do a lot of beer shopping, a lot of local Texas beer shopping here in Houston. I've never seen the genius beer outside of the brewery. So this is the name. That is the name of the brewing company. Ingenious Brewing Company. Yeah. Yep. That's them. So wow. what? So being your experience, uh, y'all's experience with the. Your first experience maybe with the Imperial Stout. What do y'all, how, how would y'all grade this? I, me, I've never, I don't know what Imperial Stout means. I, this is the first one I've tried. I'm going to give it a 5.1. There you go. Just over, just over halfway. Because you don't, because what, you, what do you, you don't really have a baseline to go No, because if we were to try another Imperial Stout, we're, we yeah. are, we're not, we're right. we're grading imperial so, stout. So, right? but it, but you're you, what you're saying is it wasn't a great experience, but it wasn't a shitty experience. It was right, a, it right, was it wasn't. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Right. Miller, what do you think? I'm gonna grade it more like a four point four point one. I can tell because you, you ain't really yeah. drinking, you're not really drinking your beer. Okay. Well, when the camera goes off, I'll finish this. Yeah, I'm gonna give this five point five. Five point five. Five point five. So we're all kind of in the mid range. Yeah, I'm just I've had I've had better Imperial Stouts, but then again, I'm not that big of a fan on Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. Um, but it gets the job done. It'll get you pretty damn drunk, and I guess that's the I guess that's the goal. But I do see I do appreciate the craftsmanship in the beer itself. You can right. tell it's there. Right. You can tell it's there. So that's it for me, Frosty, Papa Z. Mr. Mr. It's, been a great, it's been a great, great time. Great time. You won't find Papa Z too much anywhere. You find him on Facebook, I think. It's, yeah, you gotta look. You, you have, have to really, really search. Really search. Yeah. Mr. Meadows, yes. good luck uh, finding him as well. They're both like, uh, like Bigfoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been called other, but yeah, we'll, we'll say Bigfoot for now. <laughs> Okay. Stay frosty. <laughs> <laughs>